Welcome to Reach It Workshop. Why can some window cleaners get spot-free results with TDS 50 and over, saving them up to 50% on their DI resin costs? Why does the window cleaning industry prescribe TDS less than 10 to achieve spot-free water? Is it true? How can some window cleaners get spot-free results with TDS over 50 and others cannot? If you can do this, you could save up to 50% of your DI resin running costs. This topic is more valuable to water-fed window cleaners who use DI-only systems in areas where the TDS is less than 150 parts per million for making their spot-free water. Firstly, we need to get scientific to discuss the minerals of the periodic table that are found in our tap water. Do you still remember the periodic table from school? It was a long time ago. Let's have a quick look at it now. Actually, we only need to look into the top left corner where we see sodium, calcium, and magnesium. What do these minerals look like? Well, for example, sodium chloride is called salt. It is white. Calcium carbonate is called chalk. It is white. And magnesium sulfate we call Epsom salts, and they are also white. White is the color that reflects all light, so it is most visible to the human eye, whereas by contrast, black is the color that absorbs all light and is the least visible to the human eye. I guess that's why Navy SEALs dress in dark camouflage to go into combat, to make sure they can't be seen easily. When we consider tap water quality in water spots, the most common minerals in our tap water are calcium and magnesium. So if your tap water comes from a source that has a high hardness, it is a high concentration of these white minerals, calcium and magnesium, and the water spots will dry white. Now, if your tap water comes from a water source high in other minerals, the water spots will not dry white. So what happens if half the minerals in your local water dry white and the other half dry black? Well, let's consider a similar scenario using paint. If we mixed 50-50 white paint and black paint, we would get gray paint. This color reflects less light than white paint and more light than black paint. Well, what if the paint was one part white and nine parts black? Well, we would call this charcoal and this paint will absorb most of the light. And so it is with spots on windows. If the minerals in your water are a high concentration of calcium and magnesium, the spots will be more white and therefore more visible. This is like our white paint example. If the minerals in your water are a low concentration of calcium and magnesium, they may well dry black. And this is more like our charcoal paint example. As window cleaners, we measure this concentration of minerals, all of them, as TDS. And we read TDS in parts per million from a simple tool called a TDS meter. A TDS meter reading is actually a measurement of conductivity, not spot free. So it goes like this. Pure water, that is water with no dissolved minerals or solids, does not conduct electricity. The more minerals in solution in water, the higher the conductivity of that water. A TDS reading is not a measure of calcium and magnesium. There's no way to tell the difference. It's a measure of all the minerals in the tap water. So even if your TDS reading is high, it could be mostly minerals other than calcium and magnesium. And these other minerals dry in darker colors like black and brown. Accordingly, if the TDS of your water is mostly made up of these other minerals, the spots left on the windows will absorb light rather than reflect light and therefore be less visible. The less visible they are, the more spot free the window appears. And from the customer's perspective, the windows are perfectly clean. Now, when we have a TDS reading below 10 parts per million, it can be translated for a window cleaner that the spots left from this concentration of solids in the water is always invisible to the human eye, even if it were 100% dry white solids. 
It's very important to understand that there could be a spot, but you cannot see it. Therefore, there is no spot. And the acknowledgement is that while the TDS meter measures some conductivity, it's the human eye that measures spot free. So if you have charcoal colored water spots at a concentration of TDS over 10, even up to 100, the spots could be invisible to the human eye and therefore the window will be clean. And that's why some window cleaners can get spot free results with TDS up to 50 on clearer glass and up to TDS 100 on tinted glass. So let's talk about how this might be relevant to you in your area. If the minerals in your local tap water are mostly not white and you're using DI resin to filter your water, you could save on your DI costs by adjusting the TDS out of your DI system to 50. We'll cover how to do this in detail on another topic. However, basically, you can divert a percentage of the water through the DI tanks and a percentage of the water around the DI tanks to make the TDS out variable. The water bypassing the DI tanks is not filtered, thereby saving on your DI resin costs. For example, in Sydney, Australia, where the tap water is TDS 100, Reach it used to sell DI systems with 50% of the water bypassing the DI tanks and 50% of the water through the DI tanks, giving a preset TDS out of 50 parts per million. This always gave spot free results and saved our window cleaner clients 50% of their DI running costs. Now, if you work throughout a number of counties or suburbs, you may find that you're accessing multiple sources of town water supply, some from lakes and some from aquifers. For example, in Perth, Australia, the TDS reading of tap water in the north is over 400 parts per million while the TDS water reading in the south is under 150 parts per million. The north and the south have different water sources. So it's important, test the water wherever you work to see if you can apply this knowledge to your business. Don't just set a rule based on water at one location, like at your home. If you use DI resin to filter your spot free water and you you can work with a higher TDS out, according to this theory, you should. Financially, if you're currently spending like $2,000 a year in DI resin, you could be saving $1,000 a year with a simple tip. You can then reinvest this money into time-saving tools to increase your hourly rate even more. This topic is available to you on YouTube in the Reach It Workshop podcast and as a downloadable PDF for your training manual. If you like this content and you want to be notified of the new releases, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash future of cleaning or to our newsletters at futureofcleaning.com. If you want to discuss this topic or you're thinking of any other topic, leave a comment below. We'll see you in the next Reach of Workshop.